section 7.3 and 7.7 7, we're going to be simplifying radical expressions and then we're going to work with some complex numbers. First of all we're going to use our quotient rule for radicals in the shaded area up here basically just says we can break this apart into two separate radicals using the same index so if I rewrite this one it's going to be the square root of 6 over the square root of 49. The square root of 6 is not a perfect square so I'm just going to leave it alone square root of 49 is 7. So let's leave it simplified like that. Number 2, break it apart into the 4th root of y and then into the 4th root of 81x to the 4th. Okay, the numerator does not simplify any further so I'll just leave it. And then in the denominator 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81, so I'm going to have just a 3, which is the 4th root of 81, and then remember when we have variables, we divide this number by the index, so 4 divided by 4 is just x to the first power. Okay, we're going to look at number 3. I'm going to rewrite them as the cubed root of 4 and the cubed root of 27 cubed root of 4 does not simplify, so I'm going to leave it alone. And then the cubed root of 27 is 3. Alright, number 4. We're going to break this apart. x squared y, and then the square root of 100 is on the bottom. Alright, we said with the variables we would divide this by our index. Our index, if it's not shown, is a known 2. So 2 divided by 2 is a 1. Okay, y does not divide, so I'm going to leave it under the radical. Okay, and then the square root of 100 is 10. Alright, number 5. First of all, we're going to ignore this negative and just leave it out front. So I'm going to have the cubed root of z to the 7th power over the cubed root of 125 x to the third power and we have my negative out front. I'm going to bring my negative out front. Alright, for variables we divide 7 divided by 3. Now those, the, those do not go evenly but if I go out to the side and I say 7 divided by 3, 3 goes into 7 two times with one left over. This is your outside of the radical exponent and then this one's your inside the radical exponent. So whenever I do it it's going to be um, z squared comes to the outside because of that and then under inside the radical is a 1 and that comes from that they are z to the first power, okay, which is just z, so I'm going to rewrite it as just z. z to the first power is just z, because there's a known one that's right there. All right, now on the bottom, this cubed root of 125 is just 5, and then 3 divided by 3 goes evenly, it just goes one time, x to the first power. So... Here's our answer. Alright, number 6, square root of 32. That's not a perfect square, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break 32 down into prime factors. So first of all, I always try to divide by 2. 32 divided by 2 is 16. Divide that by 2 if you can. It's 8. 8 divides by 2. It's 4. 4 divides by 2 two left over. So my index right here is a known two. I need everything in groups of twos. There's one group of two. Write it down. There's another group of two. And whatever does not group of two stays under the radical. So this one is the one that's under the radical. And now I just multiply and get two times two is four square root of two. Okay, with the cubed root of 192, 
I want to do the same uh, same thing. So I have 192, and I want to break it into prompts. So first I'm going to divide it by 2, and that's 96. Divide that by 2, and you get 48. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, because my index is a 3, I need groups of 3's. That's one group, group of 3. Here's a second group of 3. And if this is not a group of 3, then this is just left under the radical. And don't forget to keep the index. So now I'm just going to multiply the red ones and get 2 times 2, which is 4 cubed root of 3. Okay, number 8. First thing I'm going to do is this 5 that is in front of the radical is I'm going to leave it out front. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Okay, that's the 5 that was already there. And now I'm going to go off to the side and break down the square root of 75. So I'm going to have 75, and I'm going to, it doesn't divide by 2, so the next prime number is a 3. It goes 25 times. 25 doesn't divide by 3, but it does divide by 5. And because my radical, my index, I mean, my index is a 2, I need groups of 2s. Well, there's one group of 2, so it's going to be a 5. And whatever is not a group of 2 stays under the radical. So that becomes um, 5 squared of 3. So now I'm going to bring this back over there times 5 square root of 3. So I'm going to multiply the numbers in front of the radical and the radical just stays the same. Alright, number 9. Square root of 100 is 10. And remember we said with the variables we divide. So we would say 5 divided by our known index which is a 2. Okay, it goes 2 times with one left over, this is our outside, the radical exponent, and this one's going to be the inside or underneath the radical exponent. So on the outside, in blue, I'm going to have a squared, so it's going to be x squared. Inside the exponent, it's going to be a 1, so it's just x to the first power since it's a known 1. And that's our answer. And number 10, square root of 64 is 8. And then I'll need to divide 9 by the known index of a, there's a known 2 there. So it goes 4 times with 1 left over. So this is my outside exponent. And then this one's my inside exponent. So I'm going to have y to the 4th power, and then under my radical I'll have y to the gnome 1.